Well, it's a new day and uh, it's warm. It's kind of hazy because of the forest fires. You might be able to see the haze behind me. I just got a quick job to do today. A friend of mine, uh, last week during a storm, um, one of the manhole covers on the road flooded off and she hit it with her car and busted her rim and she just wants me to have a look at it, see if I could see any damage. So I'm gonna drive out there to have a look at that and then not too much on the go. I started on the ATV, but I bought an LED light because this one here is halogen. And I think they're 100 watts a piece, 150 watts a piece. So that's a lot of power being used right there. LED lights use a lot less power. So see if I notice it in the utility bills. Take the new jack out as well. Shit, eh? So like there's no way there's like if there's more damage underneath then yeah I'm gonna clean it. And then my insurance can fight with the city. Just playing around with the unit. I just picked up this uh, Bluetooth OBD. Just checking it out and uh, I got it finally connected. It's kind of a pain to get the Bluetooth connected on this thing. But so far it seems to be working. And I'm back home. It didn't seem to be any damage to the undercarriage of a car. I think mainly because it's all wheel drive. So the rear axle assemblies on that car is really solid where if it would have been front wheel drive. I think it's very possible that uh, May have ripped the strut out since unload the truck. It's been pretty flat all day. I want to have a look at the charger. So it appears that the battery did charge. We're fully charged today. What are we running at here? 17 volts. 17 volts on the panel. 0.9 amps. So we're running 13.8, 13, 13.8, 13, 0.9 amps. Battery's charged, looking good. That's pretty good that it was able to recharge in this light. Hopefully next weekend or the weekend after for sure, gonna head out camping, gonna put it to some use. See if I need to bring the generator along, but I think I should be all right with that 105 amp hour battery clean up my bench a little bit then we're gonna have a look at this LED light that I picked up. Whew, just sweating my bag off even though the sun's not out it is still warm. Yeah I can see the solar panel on my truck but just got that hooked up. I'm gonna see if there's power. There we go we're hooked up LED lighting should be a lot cheaper than this. I'm pretty sure these are 100 watt. This was uh I just set up an on time of five minutes Looks like my uh, sensitivity was at, I guess it was on in the middle max, but it was on like all the time and it's getting kind of annoying. Must say I'm doing pretty good. I haven't lost any yet. 4.30 right now. Got to get changed. It's pub night tonight. Meeting Dave. Going to... Uh, Try out this new pub in Arbor and Bay, Blackbird or something. Well, it's not really new. It's been there for a while. I've never been there. I'm not sure Dave has either. But you're going to go check it out, see what they got on tap. So I'll see you guys Welcome later. Day, everybody. It is a beautiful day. Last night went out to the Blackbird pub in Arbor and Bay. It's actually really good food. I was pretty impressed. Today I went out and I picked myself up a cooler, 12-volt cooler. Originally, I wanted to get an ARB cooler, but it's not in the cards for this year for the Budget Overland Project next year. I can see that happening, but my buddy Dave had bought this cooler 
and he's been pretty impressed with it. It is a high amp cooler. It draws five amps. So what we're gonna do is that we're going to hook it up to my solar generator today. I gotta find a um, temperature probe. I have one in my garage somewhere and then we're going to measure and see how much it cools in like six hours. That way I can gauge it to see how long I need it plugged in. Well, this is actually pretty cool. It's a lot bigger than my other one. Long 12 volt cord, power adapter. I guess one of the things I should do is put the beer in there, put this thermometer, get a reading of it after like 10 minutes and then uh, plug it in, see what happens. All right, waiting for a temperature to stabilize, I decided to go online, post a bunch of hoard, Edelbrock valve covers, front sway bar bushings from the BMW and I had it, BMW gasket set, Jeep TJ Pitman arm, SBC and a carburetor for my low rider I built many years ago. Let's have a look, see what the ambient temperature is inside the cooler as our baseline, and it looks we're at 70 degrees. So we're fully charged. 20 volts coming off the panel. Only 0.2 amps. Let's turn this on. Power. Oh yeah, as soon as we put the lights on, you can actually see the, uh, start getting some more load coming off the, uh, off the cell there, 14 volts here, we're 4.7 amps. Now I'll turn those off, we're dropping back down. That's awesome. Let's plug this thing in. What's the load? Five point one amps drawing. After three o'clock, it's been on there for one and a half hours. Let's have a look. The light isn't too great today, and we are draining off the battery now. Let's see what we got coming in. Solar cells are 13 volts. They were almost 20 earlier. Uh, only coming in at four amps. So I may have to take my generator with me to charge the battery perhaps. Oh yeah, we're at about 50 degrees. So it's dropped 20 degrees already. Let's grab a beer, motherfucking beer time. He's got some cheap ghetto beer on the go right now. Beer on the table. Got the uh, bushings for the ATV. Gonna start doing that. It is hot outside, so I'm kind of procrastinating. Tomcat's outside in his cage. Anyways, motherfucking beer time. Oh, cooler kept it pretty cool too. Hey buddy, you wanna go inside? Do you wanna go inside? Hey Mr. Tomcat, I know. I know. I know. You wanna go roaming free, don't you? All right, it's five o'clock. Let's see what the temperature is. So we're at 12.3 volts and I'm really curious to know what that means because if that means that your battery is almost dead, that doesn't add up because this draws 5 amps, 105 amp hour battery, so in theory 5 times 20 hours should equal 100 amps. But we're still at 12.3 volts so the battery's still charged. So I'd like to know what that means. Like I said, I'm all new to solar, so I gotta figure all this out. Fucking beer time. Still a little cold in there, and we are at uh, about the same temperature. Didn't change. All right, it's motherfucking beer time, round two. Bush beer it is the end of the weekend. Back to work tomorrow. Oh shit. Supposed to be a little bit more decent this week. So I want to try to get all those A-arm bushings done. Complete it. One project out of the way. 
get everything in the car cleaned up. Still some projects to do in the Jeep yet, but we're gonna do a little balancing act on that. Everything's looking pretty good. The new cooler seems to be all right. I'm gonna have to do more further real world testing on my solar generator because on that solar panel, like I just finished talking about, things aren't really adding up. So I don't know what that battery level means in there. I was going to assume that's the level of the battery, but do the math, three hours wouldn't kill a battery if it's a 100 amp hour battery draining five amps. Anyways, motherfucking beer time. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I want to thank you guys for watching.